let us see an example on how now we are can apply relative density of a liquid formula in an experiment to determine the relative density of liquids y students obtains the following results after experiments one they got what we call it mass of an empty bottle let us this is m this one then mass of the bottle plus liquid this is the M1. And then mass of bottle plus water. That is the M2. And from the, the experiment, they, ob they used the volume of bottle that was 25 centimeter cubic. That is the volume of bottle. That was a volume of liquid and definitely volume of water. Because they use the same same bottle. Then from the experiment, the question is to determine the relative density of the liquid. As I said, relative density of the liquid is equal now to mass of liquid over, vol uh, over mass of water. Mass of water. From the question, mass of liquid is definitely obtained after you have taken bottle plus liquid, which is bottle plus liquid, which is M1, minus that of bottle, that is M0. And that is the mass of liquid is obtained after you have taken mass of bottle plus liquid, that is M1, minus that of bottle, that is M0, then over. Mass of water is taken after you have taken, is obtained after you have taken mass of bottle plus water, that is M2 minus that of bottle, that is M0. And then mathematically, M1 is, is 35 minus, that is M0, that is 15. All of this is a la gram, 15, but this is all about gram. Over then, we have M2, that is 40, minus M0, that is 15, dot, this is a gram. Therefore, mathematically, this is M1 minus M0. This is M1 minus M0. Therefore, this minus this one, we are having it is 20 or 20 gram over. Then, this is now 25, this is 20 gram, 25 gram. Mathematically, this comes out because relative density has no, has no unit. And it, therefore, it is 20 over 25. Mathematically, by 5 here it is 4, then by 5 here it is 5. Therefore, it is 4 over 5. Now that is 0 0.8. This is relative density. Therefore, we come to conclude relative density will be given to 0. Point, will be equal now to 0 0.8. Eight. So this is how we can definitely determine. So what was so important here is to determine the mass of the liquid and also to determine the mass of water. So from the question, mass of the liquid, mass of liquid is definitely determined after you have taken bottle plus liquid minus that of bottle. That is the M1 minus M0, here I've written it is. And then mass of water is definitely obtained after you have taken mass of bottle plus water minus that of bottle, and that is M2 minus M0. Kwa cha muhimu ni kujua kwamba, relative density sawa sawa na mass of liquid, unagawanya kwa mass of water. Kwa yu mass of liquid, manake wezu kapata uzito wakimiminika mpaka uchukue uzito wakimiminika pamoja na chombo kwa sababu uzito wakimiminika upatikani peke yake. Kwa sababu unapotaka kupima mafuta kwa mfano mafuta ata lazimu wa yake kwenye ndo, lazimu wa yake kwenye chombo flani, ndo wendu kaipime. Kumbuku umepima chombo pamoja na kimiminika. Halafu badaye unakuju unapima uzito wakile chombo, unauondoa kwenye ule uzito wa jumla, ambapo ndo napata sasa mass of liquid that is m1 minus m0 lakini mass of water kumbuka na maji ni hivyo hivyo uwezo kayapima maji pekee lazima uyaweke kwenye chombo ndio uyapima uzito wake kumbuka umepata uzito wa chombo pamoja na maji la kwa hiyo unapima uzito wa chombo pamoja na maji baadaye unakuja unaweka pembeni maji halafu unapima uzito wa kile chombo ambacho umetumia kubeba yale maji kwa hiyo unapima na yenyewe kwa hiyo unakuja sasa unaondoa uzito wa chombo na uondoa unabakia tu uzito wa maji ambapo sasa ndio utaona kwamba mass of liquid ni uzito wa liquid pamoja na chombo unaondoa chombo unabakiwa liquid peke yake uzito wa maji unachukua uzito wa maji pamoja na 
wachombo unaondoa ule wachombo unabakiwa tu na uzito wa, wa maji ambapo sasa kumbe ili upate relative density ya, ya liquid lazima uchukue uzito wa liquid halafu ugawanye kwa uzito wa wa water ambapo sasa mass of liquid over mass of water is now where you can determine what we call it relative density what next is all about substituting and remember because these are glams they are cancelled out that is definitely after you have subtracted them you find it is 20 over 25 mathematically this is 4 over 5 and when you take 4 over 5 that is 0 0.8 so this is how now definitely you can determine what we call it relative density of liquid